Hey there. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. You think a guy like you should be pleased? Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. <laughs> Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck them off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I told Look, him. I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. Big as those days when you hit the roids 
Well, Bill, I may have beat you, but you're still the fucking man in my book. All right, Jim, Johnny. Since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here going to be doing? We are going to watch your backs, because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. <laughs> this better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! Fuck you! Where the fuck's Billy? Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill, yeah, he's fucked now. Thanks to you. I'm around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Let's get back to the bikes. Suspect William Gray. What was all that about? I don't know, man. Billy's out of piss. He's gonna have plenty of time to think about his anger on the inside. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am I gonna do? Clevitz, man, what the fuck? What happened back there? What are you waiting for, the second coming?
question, Brian. What happened there? Billy said these triads were ready to deal. Jesus, that was heavy, man. Fuck it. What was Billy's fucking problem? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, buddy. You two want us to end up all dead? Man, Billy was right about you. I knew you were a rat. Now he's gone, man. He ain't gone, Brian. He's gone to prison. He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, Johnny. Give it a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass-kissing little weasel? Hey, Brian! Johnny's not like that, man. Jim, you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this two prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know, because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you, and I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gotta be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. Dave. Dave Grossman. I'm a friend of Billy's. We met at the clubhouse. Friend of Billy's, huh? Well, good luck with that. Well, hey, I haven't seen him for a long time. But hey, hold on, man. I need a favor. What? What am I, the Midlife Crisis Association? Oh, look, I am desperate, man. Take my watch, take my fleece, take anything, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking desperate. I'm dying here. Why is that? I'm being blackmailed by my secretary. She's saying I touched her. And I didn't do anything. She ruined my life. I didn't do anything. That's unlucky, man. Look, it'll break my daughter's heart. She's saying that I looked at her tits, and because I did that, I suppressed her. She is a fucking moron, but my wife is not a kind woman. She'll get one whiff at this. One whiff, and she'll rip my life to shreds. I'm a lawyer, and I'm getting ass-raped by the law! Can you imagine what that feels like? Mercifully not. Well, look, all I need for you is to intimidate her lawyer. Just make him get her to back down, man. So you want me to go put the fear of the Lord in a lawyer? And you're gonna pay me for it? Shit, Dave, why didn't you say so in the first place? Solid, man.
Professor! Where did you get off? Pull over to the side of the road. You better have a good lawyer, pal. Yeah? Well, in my books, the only good lawyer is a dead one. Uh... Okay? Put the brakes on your case against Dave Grossman or you'll be one good fucking lawyer, dude. Okay. I know when I'm beat, okay? Chill out, will ya? Just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun. Johnny. Brother of mine. All right. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Malk's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. All right, play nice. Peace, son. Let him out. Hey. Later.
on, man. Those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malkin's a Sean a good guy. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry or Clay a call if you ever need some help on club business. Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. Here comes the big man. Gentlemen. Hey. What's happening, Johnny? Hey, hey, what's your plan? We spoke to that fat fuck, Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. <laughs> Brian wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. Tweedledum and Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB and he don't give a shit about the bros. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you think Billy would stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. You did you did. You did you did. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable. Wow. Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter, Billy, is on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, Get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers.
I got some serious heat! Check that wall, Johnny! Shot lined up! Looks like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. <laughs> <laughs> 